We're looking at the Zenny portable washing machine today. I wanted to get a mini size for the van. And Facial Raymond asked, can you wash sheets in a portable washing machine? And others have asked, can you wash towels in the Zenny washing machine and spinner? So let's look at the portable washer setup. And we'll wash these sheets and towels. And see if the Zenny is one of the best washing machines for RV life or van life. And if it'll work in a dorm or for small apartment laundry needs. I've used the Cuffit portable washer and spinner with twin tubs for a while. I'm going to show you that right now. But I'm eager to see what this little Zenny mini portable machine will do. My name is Gail Crabtree and this is my new service dog, Gypsy. And we're going to be going on lots of adventures together again and getting on the road. And I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and make sure you give me a like. This product review on this mini portable washing machine is just one. So let's get to washing some clothes and some sheets and see if this little machine is going to be the best portable washer for the van or for the RV or not. Or if it's one of the best portable washing machines for a dorm or an apartment or not. So here we go. Inside we have an extension hose, a spinner basket, and we have the all-important spin cap. It is possibly the most important component in your washing machine. Without this, you cannot spin your clothes dry in the washer. It will not work. On the side, your drainage hose hooks on this loop right here. On the back, we have the handle and electric cord. And there are four rubberized feet on the bottom of the machine. Water inlet. Program selector spin, wash off the timer for the wash and spin. And it works very simple. You're just going to turn it to whether you're washing or spinning and set the timer. I'm going to put my Van Life sheets in it first. They're the Walmart Mainstays full-size sheets. They're the bottom fitted and the top sheet. They're super thin, uh, but I like them for the van because they are easier to wash and dry. And I do have this on two pieces of two by fours. It drains by gravity, so the higher the machine is, the easier it's going to be to drain. So let's see how we go here. I'm just going to turn it on and fill her up. I have the detergent in the cup. I'm not going to use this whole cup of detergent. You only want to use just a really small amount. So you may want to use a tablespoon or even half a tablespoon. I know, doesn't that sound crazy? And I, I will say that I have been very impressed with how this machine washes. If you saw the live stream that I did when I first got it and did the unboxing, I actually took a t-shirt and rubbed dirt into the t-shirt and it came out really nice. I didn't expect that much power from a super small machine, but you're gonna still need to hang the clothes up to dry. Uh, it's a spinner, it's not your traditional dryer, so there's no heat going to the clothes. It mounts centrifugal force and gets a lot of the water out. So we'll see about off. But again, on this one, um, because it's in the same tub and you have a larger tub than you do spin basket, it's really easy to wash more than you can spin dry and you'll have to spin it in two or three different loads. But anyway, let me turn this on. Now all of these companies, Cuffit, Best Choice, Zenny, Giantex, all of them are having problems with parts and availability. Um, so if you check it on Amazon and it's not in stock, check it later um, because it may come back in stock. Also, they're all just about made the same way, you know, for each style. And you'll see that um, if you look at the Amazon link, which I'm about to post. 
And you all, this is not a sponsored video at all. I don't want you to think that that is the case because it is not. I'm just doing this live stream to answer some of the questions that people have asked um, about what can you wash in the mini portable washer. So, I put that on the six minute timer. We're just going to drain it. And that's all coming out by gravity. So, we're going to give this just a minute to drain. This was on the two full size sheets. So, this is the full size sheet, um, top sheet. And that'll fit inside the spinner. Let me see about the bottom fitted sheet, if that will fit inside the spinner. Um, that may, this is probably going to push it to hold both of them. We'll see. Ah. They'll fit, but will they dry? That's the big question. And you got to put it in there and you got to lock it down. Here's a little top to it that fits on top of the spinner. Basket like so. Here's your water. Uh, this is the rinse cycle, if you will. And I'm going to fill it up with water pretty good here. I'm going to turn that down a little bit just because I don't need hot to wash and rinse. Okay, so I have put a lot of water in here just rinsing. It doesn't catch it, it's going straight through, but none of these are going to spin the clothes completely dry. That is just the nature of the beast. There's no heat going into the drier portion of this. It's a spinner, so it spins around and you get the centrifugal force that's pulling the water out of the clothes. If you use a shower spinner, I'm sorry, if you use a salad spinner, then you know what I'm talking about because it works the same way. So no heat going to it. So even after it spins the clothes, you're still gonna wanna hang them up somewhere. Um, I can use the wash cycle to add the water to rinse, but I'm just adding the water on top of the spinner. And now, We'll just spin the clothes. And this is going to walk quite a bit. In okay, this tells me I didn't secure it properly. So either that or it's off balance. Because you have to have it balanced and you have to have it latched in. So we'll let me pull it out. That should have latched in. I heard that pop. There we go. So it's dancing around on me quite a bit. but the drain hose has quit having water come out of it. So that tells me that it's spun as much water as it's going to. We're just gonna pull it out. I can feel that the sheets are drier. This is the, the fitted sheet, the fitted full size sheet. And this is the top sheet. This one is one of the ones that I use at home regularly. It's a Jersey 
kind of knit material, mainstays, queen size sheet there. Oh, oh, so you can see that it is the queen size sheet. There you are. Put this in. Remember to only use a teaspoon to half a tablespoon of liquid detergent. And I am fast forwarding and editing some of this because you all just saw me wash clothes and add water on the previous section. You probably don't want to see me do it again. So what are you all thinking so far? Intrigued, love it, hate it. What are your, what are your thoughts? When you move the items around, it's going to help it drain faster. So that's just what I'm doing here. I've just got the one sheet. Oh, wow, is this super heavy. Okay, I don't think this is going to stand. I really don't. Now, the, uh, this is one of those knit jersey sheets. Somehow or other, I have it caught on the spin basket. And I can barely lift the spin basket. I don't know how I have it caught. There it is. So while it washed it, I don't think there's a way in the world this is actually going to dry. Yeah, no. I'm not even going to try this. In fact, I may have just torn out my basket. Yeah, I did. This is not going to work. Okay, so the answer to can you wash a queen shot, queen sized sheet is a definite maybe. It's going to depend entirely on how thick your sheet is. You know, just a few minutes ago, I did the full-size sheet set, but that's not going to work with this situation. So, this is the queen-size sheet, and it is the knit jersey material, and this is a no-go. I've got a couple of towels right here that we're going to try out next. I'm using the towels that I would use in the van. Uh, these are a little bit thinner than your average bath towel. Let me get them. If I'm someplace like New Mexico, they'll dry in just a few minutes in the hot summer sun. The thinner, the better on my towels. Now on this, since it's just a small compact washer, I've got one set. So one towel, one washcloth. Put it on wash. Water. can't stress this enough, you're only going to add just a little bit of soap. If you're only doing a washcloth and a towel, you may only need a teaspoon. I'm just adding a tiny, tiny bit. Just to clarify again, this is not a sponsored video, but I do have the product link down in the description box below. So if you want more specs on this, do check out that link. And we're coming to the end of the wash cycle. Go ahead and run the water in it to go ahead and rinse this out. Again, here's the spin basket. And you must have this. Do not, if you get one of these machines, I don't care if you get a single tub, twin tub, don't lose this because you will be in so much trouble when it comes time to spin the clothes. There we go. So I'm just letting it spin. Usually it takes about a minute. Okay. So I have no more water coming out of the drain here. Drain hose. So we are A-OK -okay there, lift it up. And 
And that got out a fair amount of water. You don't see it dripping. And yeah, let's put that down here. And that's not dripping either. Let me go ahead and try squeezing it. I don't have the best hand strength, but I'm not getting water out of this. So y'all, I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with this little mini portable washer. It is noisy, it does rattle, and you can feel the vibrations most definitely. So those are the downsides. The upside is it's small, compact size, means you can put it anywhere. You can do it in the bathtub, on the side of the van, on the back end of the van, lots of potential there. With the caveats about the spinner, is this the best washing machine for a dorm or is this the best washer for a small apartment? I really can't say that it is because it's loud because of the spinner not being quiet, it could bother people. I want to thank you all for hanging out. You've been really cool. If you have any more questions about it, um, just drop them down in the comments after the live stream. I'll answer those as I can. Remember too that we're always hashtag be bodacious, which means you're not going to let life get in the way of living. Thanks for watching. Good night. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy.